Today in this video I will show you how to design and simulate a common source amplifier. So let's get started. First open the terminal and type the bit to so. Wait for the bit to so to load up. Click on file and create a new library. Now name a library. I will name it as common source and attach to an existing technology and I will select GPTK90 and I will click OK now I will create a new cell view in the library I will name it as common um, let's name it as CS amplifier and select our library and ok now I will design common source amplifier circuit so I will select GPTK90 and select PMOS and NMOS transistors and place it on the canvas Now I will choose NMOS and place it on the canvas. Now we need IDC. So from the analog lib I will select IDC and give the DC current as 100 microamperes and we will place it in canvas now we will wire it up the circuit please follow my video to make the circuit connect the body terminals of the transistor to the VDD and in MOS to the ground connect to VDC IDC Now we will add the pins. So press P in the keyboard to open the add pin dialog box and type the name of pins and connect it to the schematic. So this is VDD pin and this is a V in pin and a VSS pin. These are the input pins. Now we need to add output pins. So select the direction as output and place it on the schematic. Now we need a ground from analog lip and connect it to the schematic. So our circuit is almost complete. 
okay now click check can save and if any errors are there note the errors and now create the symbol from the cell view name the pins specification and click ok so the symbol will be get created so edit the symbol and save the symbol now create a new cell view for the test bench I will name it as common source amplifier test bench and we need to add the symbol for the common source amplifier which we have just created that would be in our library so csm and place it on the editor extend the wires to connect the source and the pins so in the analog lib search for v sign for the sine wave source and give the parameters as amplitude to 5 millivolt and frequency to 1 kilohertz and connect it to the schematic now search for VDC and place it at the VSS and VDT now click on the parameter window of VDC and give the DC voltage as minus 2.5 volt and for the VDD give the DC voltage as 2.5 volts now we need ground so add the ground to the all the sources and connect it through wire now we need to add pins so v out pin connect to the output pin of the v out and v in pin for the input make sure to change the direction and click check and save now click on launch for and click on ADL now go to analysis and choose transient analysis a stop time as 5 milli seconds and apply for the DC analysis let's check save DC operating point and click OK select the component parameter as DC and set the start time to minus 5 and stop time as 5 click apply and now for the AC analysis set the start time as 150 and stop time as 100 M and sweep time as logarithmic and points per decade as 20 click apply and OK now go to outputs and select to be plotted from schematic and select the input and output wires or nets now run the simulation so we get transient response 
AC response and DC response of the common source amplifier.